Hello everybody, um, here it is, version 2 of my wood stove heat exchanger. Um, I'd really recommend you watch my other video first to get like my basic idea, and this one's just going to be about what the modifications I made for version 2. Um, as you can see I've put in, or I've, sorry I've painted it black. Um, it should heat up more that way. Same with the coil painted that black as well, high temperature flat black paint. Um, so yes, and it's wrapped a lot tighter this time. Another modification I did is I've put a spring attached to the end there, so it keeps this the tension on this wire. So as this heats and cools, it'll keep the coil tight to the wood stove there. And here is my uh, new and improved heat exchanger itself. Um, I've got an air conditioning radiator and an electric fan from a 97 Intrepid. Basically what I did is I uh, uh, cut it off the fan and the frame and everything, um, cut out a hole in plywood on the frame that I built for the radiator, stuck that on the back and I've got that hooked up to the uh, plug-in that was on the car. Um, it's, a, it's a big step up from my other one as all the the sides and everything are sealed. If you look in my other video, it was all open, so this should be this should make it a lot more efficient. You can see the front there. On the other side here, we've got my um, hot water coming in on the top. I know some of you were commenting about uh, I had it backwards or something um, on my other video, so I fixed that. It comes in the top now, goes around, comes out the bottom right there, at which it will go back into my uh, storage bucket. I'll get this, I'll get it all hooked up, then show you when it's running and give you some uh, temperature stats. So here we are with the uh, uh, modified wood stove here outside. Um, there's uh, some changes I'd like to show you. There's uh, I got an actual fitting for this so that doesn't leak anymore. Um, so as you can see, the whole thing is still painted black. There's the spring to keep the uh, coil tight. Um, I also switched the hoses. The coal goes in the bottom. Hot comes at the top, as it should be. That was a mistake on the first one. Uh, this, uh, the stove pipe is um, extended now. And when you get the uh, exhaust to go over the roof line, it, it works a lot better. It draws it up very nicely. Um, the hose right, like right here is just too hot to touch. Like you can just kind of go around it. Uh, that, you can't touch that either. The water coming off is way too hot. There's the fire inside. As you can see, there's really no smoke because it's burning too hot. Um, but yeah, as I said, if you haven't seen my first video, I'd recommend you go and watch that first because then you can get the, all the original technical stuff and then this is just the improvements. But yeah, now I'll show you inside. Here we are inside, guys, and um, there's the uh, hot hose coming in. It's much too hot to touch. <laughs> uh, that's the pump right there, sitting next to the big block, and uh, pumping the cold water antifreeze out the green hose. So it comes in here, which I also have a connection for. It goes through my air conditioning radiator. <coughs> through my air conditioning radiator. I've got a filter on it to filter the air. It comes out the bottom at uh, room temperature and it's going in at a little over 100 degrees. And uh, the air going in through the radiator core is about 15 degrees Celsius. Uh, and as you can see the air I've also managed to 
make the system a lot more efficient on fuel. It only uses about a quarter of what it used to. And uh, it'll heat up it'll heat up the um, the garage here in 